back to Game of Galavals. I'm your host, Pia. And we've got dreams to settle down. Alright. I love some of these dream sections because I like lighting all that up. Wow. Platforming away! Oh no! Ah, yeah. There we go. <coughs> yeah, this is where you really like have to experiment uh, what you can and can't jump on. Hey! And if you look in the background really closely, you can see the dawn stars that you've unlocked. Get out of here! Look, there is that guy who, like, you know, killed that king. Mm. I don't know if I told you folks this, but I... I don't like, um... <gasps> I don't like birds that much because of an experience that I had as a, as a kid. Oh, hey, two for one! Magicians? Musicians! There's one! Oh. So, unlike the last stream where we were beating the crap out of everything, this one is more or less creating uh, music and exploring the city. Oh, look! You see down there? Uh, underneath me? That's one of the dawn stars that we could possibly see. Oh, there's another one! No! Okay, I know that we can reach. We just have to keep jumping. One, two, three, four, five, one, Two, three. Ah, we did it! I found all the musicians for this place falling down. Uh oh. <gasps> Oh, my controller's going all rumbly. And thus begins a new day. By the way, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, yesterday, uh, for me, was Thanksgiving. And right now I'm on Thanksgiving break. Um, I had a really good meal. Um, and I hope you guys did too with your family, your friends. Whoever. I made three pies. Three different types of pies. I made a turtle pie, which no, does not involve actual turtles. It's based on the candy turtles. Um, and then, uh, and then I made a Nutella pie. Okay, what was his voice again? <coughs> yeah, I made a Nutella pie, uh, with, with my niece, and she, she loved that, um, and I also made a pumpkin pie for the very first time, and all these pies I, I made on my own. The very first pie that I ever made was, uh, 
a butterscotch cinnamon pie from Undertale. That one didn't turn out that well, so I, I went with these, and I like these much better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Mm-mm. Yo, what's up? Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Morning. I'm somehow even more sore. This is bullshit. I'm working today. Angus is out of town, and I'm lonely. Bye, okay? Sincerely, Gregory. Okay, Gregory. Hey. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, it's my life. Right there. Sure. Science speed jobs cannot be soul crushing because there's no proof that souls exist. I am against this. Shark will make me feel better. <laughs> they can be soul crushing. Jobs can absolutely be soul crushing. I disagree with that fact. Hmm. Okay. All right. The start of day. We're good. We're feeling good. Let's go through here. They're still here. It's been a while since we've last played this. Well, since I've last played this. Hello, bird. What are you even thinking about in there? Who knows? Who knows? Bless this mess. Hey, Mom! Good morning! Did you feel it last night? No. What? There was a big sinkhole two streets over! I'm not getting your voice right. Oh, are we still getting those? Oh, hey there, it's gonna be a good day. There we go. I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth, and on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't want you going there nosing around. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all. Mom, they're just hole in the ground. Get back to me when one like swallows a house or something. We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Hung out with Greg. What did you do? Uh, went to the grocery store. That sounds exciting! Get anything special? Oh boy! You did! <clears throat> mm. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. It'll do, Mom. See ya! Mm, bye, sweetie! You have more things to say. I want to know. Now that you've been home for a few days. Yeah? Have you thought about getting a gym? Well, gotta go, Mom. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Hmm. Okay, that's all she's gonna say. Ooh, the ever-present question parents have for kids who come back home to live with them. When are you gonna get a job? Oh, it's raining. <gasps> I want to be quiet for a moment. Thank you. 
is beautiful. Oh, I thought someone was sitting there. Who else loves the rain? Ooh. See, I just leave all... See, I just leave my laundry out on rainy days. It's like a cheap wash. <laughs> oh, it's like saying, yeah, why why bother taking a shower up? Uh, why bother taking a shower when the rain can do that for me? Mayborowski. Salmers. Now, we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is first and sometimes last impressions we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. <coughs> of the Sil... Sylvan? Family of products. Selmers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Are you giving that pitch to everyone? Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom. And to Abby Krangler. Miss Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I ran into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time, Greg got locked inside one of those tumble dryers. Did he die? <clears throat> He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. He definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. You want to hear a poem? Now nah, maybe another time. Yes! Sometimes, I think and start to sink. Oh no! There's more. Sorry. Then I remember. It's October. October? Wait, I read that wrong. October. I can buy my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. Days are start gonna get shorter soon. Makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but hate the dark. I like it. You sure do. I seen a raccoon. Where? Up in town of Sentry. He's a big one. Cool. Thank you, Summers, for that poem. I really liked it. Sorry I screwed it up. My cat don't like folks on porch. <laughs> See? Ah, uh, there's statues right there. So this is where B like lives, I think. Let's get out of here. Always talk to the people in the town. They might say something that is important. Ball, 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 ball. Ah! Ah no! Yeah, no! Ball. Whoa, dear. Hey. I have too much firewood. Do you even know how much firewood? <laughs> uh, I don't know why that made me so happy. Okay, let's go through here. Okay, nothing here. Oh hey, I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. All right, time to be a thief again. God, you got shaky. Why do you, why do you have such shaky? being so shaky. Getting the hang of this. It's been a 
while since she's been a thief. I, I, I feel it. Oh, the teenagers are back. Hey. Rainy day, huh? But not down here. You kids have your own little secret hideout down here, huh? <laughs> Whatever. When I was a kid, literally nobody cares. Well, whatever. Okay then. And now you can see why I don't like teenagers. Well, that combined with other regions. Reasons, not regions. Reasons. <clears throat> Most of them are really just wrapped up in your own in their own drama that like you can't really connect to them, but at the same time, I understand it's difficult. Because we've all been there at least once. And when you hear, like, an adult come up to you and say, you know, when I was a kid, just like all of a sudden, you're like, I don't care about that right now. Only when you're an adult, you'd want to hear about another person's stories as a kid. I feel, at least. Because then you're, you're kind of reminiscing together. Because then you can answer when you were a kid. When you start saying, when I was a kid, that's just another sign of you growing old. Which is fine. It means that you've been smart enough, or resilient enough, to listen to live this long. Not a lot of people can do that now. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, okay. So you're more of a drifter? Yeah, but it's temporary. Of course, well, we just want to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate has been very kind. Mind if we see your setup here? What do you think, Molly? Uh, uh, it's fine? <laughs> All right, Bruce. Yeah. How are you finding po How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place, nice people. How long have you been in town, Bruce? I've been here for a while now. I was here be back before the seventies. They were looking for miners, at least for a while. Got a whole thing going on here, Bruce. Yep. Pretty impressive. Uh, thanks? Well, we sure appreciate you talking to us, Bruce. It was really great to meet you. Yep, likewise. All right, troops, let's move out. <laughs> thanks again, Bruce. What the fuck? Thanks, Bruce. Uh, no trouble. What? 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 Hey, talk to me. Where do you go, actually? I've never followed you. I've always talked to Bruce right after. We're following you. We're not stopping this episode yet. I know I'm like around 18. What is up, he got? He hasn't harmed anyone. <sighs> it's a toughie. I have things to do. I don't know what it serves the interests of the community. <clears throat> Either way, you shouldn't be sleeping outside. Can we discuss this indoors somewhere? To the clack clack! Can I catch you, Molly? Molly! No, she's gone. You know, I've never seen that conversation before. I love this game! Well, be seeing you guys later. Have a blessed day.